from home builders here in the Cimarron Hills area to construction companies in the industrial areas of Colorado Springs, construction site thefts continue to have a costly impact. But it's the increasingly bold actions of these crooks that have business owners and investigators saying this has to stop. About 10 o'clock, um, our ring camera went off and notified us that somebody was breaking into our construction yard. At Gibby's Construction Company's yard near Astrazon and South Academy, there are surveillance cameras everywhere. It's shocking to know that they, they could care less if they're on camera. In just nine minutes, these two suspects break into the yard and arrive in their red pickup truck, managing to cause thousands of dollars in losses and damage for this family-owned construction company. You can even hear one of the thieves using a tool to remove the catalytic converter from one of the work trucks. As one of them continues to explore the yard, the other then manages to get toolboxes on the truck opened up, stealing both equipment and pipe fittings. Because of safety concerns, the business manager requested that we not show her face on camera. They're doing nine minutes worth of work and how many months of damage for us, for our company. We work so hard from paycheck to paycheck, and now this is this one time alone has set us back five, six thousand dollars. It's been several days now since this crime happened, and this local business hopes someone who sees this video will notice something about the vehicle or suspects that can help investigators hold them accountable. When you're looking back at it, it just infuriates me every single time you watch it because you just want to catch them so bad. In a separate incident, just a day earlier, in the Cimarron Hills area near Constitution and Shawnee Drive, the El Paso County Sheriff's Office says a sergeant on patrol in the overnight hours encountered a single cab, late 1990s white Ford pickup truck in this area full of construction materials where new home builds are going on. Fortunately, in the middle of the night, our sergeant had an opportunity to do some proactive policing and uh, we saw that uh, whoever was in that vehicle um, was absolutely willing to be violent with us. As the sergeant pulled behind the suspect vehicle, the driver rammed the law enforcement vehicle, causing damage to the front end of the sergeant's vehicle and the tailgate of the suspect's truck. If they're willing to be that violent with cops versus just simply trying to get away, uh, what are they going to do with... Uh, uh, just the, your average citizen. With law enforcement agencies operating at critical staffing levels, someone encountering construction site thieves may be on their own for a while before help can arrive. We heard about one of these encounters from the owner of Vanguard Homes. I have uh, caught people that are about to steal and it's not like a friendly, oh gee, Mr. We're sorry, we'll leave. There was a lot of threats made. For those of you out there who may be aware of, of a loved one, a friend, someone committing these crimes, um, I would encourage you, if you care about them, you need to report them uh, because there is a big difference in how the judicial system will respond when they're caught. It's not a matter of if, it's when. When they're caught between a simple property crime and stealing property versus a violent person crime or even assaulting a cop. If you know anything about these crimes or any others, you can always remain anonymous and could be eligible for a cash reward by calling Crime Stoppers at 634-STOP. Reporting in the Pikes Peak region, Patrick Nelson, News 4.